If you have a wedding, girls weekend, sporting event, or family reunion, we now have a way to share all of those photos afterwards. Technology consultant Francie Black is here to show us how it works. How about a 20-year high school reunion? Because mine is Saturday. <laughs> this is perfect for that. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. So what you do, let's say, you know, everybody's taking pictures on their smartphones, but you guys all want to share the pictures and see what everybody else has got. Maybe they got a great picture that you didn't see. Where's a central place that you can put all those photos and share it for free? Okay. So this is the app for that, okay? And it's called Share Your Photos, and I'm going to go into it. And when you go into the app, you either create an event, join an existing event, okay. or go to events that you've created. And I'm going to go in here and create an event. And this could be your class reunion or anything, and I'm just going to put in here wedding. But it could be class reunion. You can fill in date and location and all of that. I'm not going to do that for our example here. But it's just to show you how simple this is, create the event. And then you invite people through texting or through email. So if you have oh, your class nice. reunion list, you just email everybody. They all get a link to this, and then they can all upload and share photos to this central repository very quickly and easily. It does seem very easy. Okay, you can just take it right off your phone. You just take it right off your phone. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into an event that I've actually got some photos here. I'm gonna go to this girls weekend, okay. And um, so let's say, so I've already got some friends that have uploaded some photos here. They are loading here. Come it's on. Thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Oh now, my is this God. for iOS and for Android? Yes. Yeah, so this is a free app. It's iOS and Android. And the way they make their money, if this comes up, if it doesn't, I'm going to use my backup photos here. You know what? I'm going to switch over to my photos real quick since we're not getting that to come up. Probably our Wi Fi. Okay. So this was where this would come up to. Okay. And from here, you would just select what pictures you want and you would choose download photos. And that would copy the photos that you want local to your drive. So rather than somebody sending out tons of photos and then you pick the one you want through email or wherever, you just do it directly from just here. Right on there. And then you can say create prints. And if you want to print certain pictures, you can do that directly from the app as well. So, the, okay. Yes, yeah, so you can do prints, phone cases, tablet cases. They have all kinds of printing options, photo books. So, if you want to do your class reunion photo book, you could do that very quickly and easily. All right, so I'm guessing this is free. This is free. They make their money by using the sure. prints, but and you the can. And the photo books. And the photo books, exactly. So, it's free to upload it. And you can upload videos as well. Now, what a lot of people use is that they use Dropbox for this or maybe Google Drive. Right. Here's the advantages or disadvantages to that. Those are great tools, love them both. But what they do, particularly in Dropbox, is that if you, um, let's say all these people in your classroom, you have 100 people uploading photos at your classroom, right. and that's thousands. Tons of space. <laughs> and yes, and that actually takes the space. If you have that syncing to your, um, to your laptop or your PC, it will actually take up, one, your Dropbox space, your allocated storage, right. and as well as space on your computer as well. So this is kind of like a cloud-based. It's completely cloud-based and it's not downloading, it's not syncing between devices, so you're not having it take up your own storage gotcha. space, which is really important. The last thing I wanted to point out is that also, if you have, you're taking it on a big DSLR camera, a really nice camera, you can actually use the desktop version as well. So you can use it, upload directly from your phone, or oh, that's from. That's nice. I like to see things bigger. Yes, exactly. So it's super easy, and that's uploading from your phone, and that's it. So okay. super quick, super easy, and I can send you the information out with direct links if you shoot me an email at info at ipadwisdom.com, and I have some contests going on as well, some giveaways. Okay, and also you can go to the WLOS uh, website and click on Tech Time, and that way you can hook up with Francie as well. Thanks so much. Thank you.